All right, guys, here it is. This is the Onefinity CNC. Everything that was in those three boxes that you saw. Uh, we got our controller, our Z uh, rail assembly, our screen. You got some hardware here. You got our mount for the screen. Got some plugs, uh, wiring and whatnot for connecting the rails. Then we got the uh, X-Rail with the stiffy, I think is what they call it there at the top. Um, I'm not sure if they're including those or if that's extra. You'll have to check that out. Uh, that was included in the uh, pre-order months back uh, when I pre-ordered it. Uh, and then we have our Y-Rails. So we're going to clear this table real quick and uh, we're going to go over the assembly process and uh, go from there. Let's take it around, guys. Okay, so we are going to start out with the X rail and the two Y rails uh, to begin with. Um, I have mounted the uh, control box on the side uh, just to get that done and out of the way uh, this is going to be a temporary spot for right now until i can figure out exactly how i want to set that up uh, but for just assembly purposes demonstration purposes um, i went ahead and put that right there and with all the ports um, facing back to the wall it makes it easier to uh, uh, connect and plug into the wall and whatnot so all right the uh, y rails they are identical, so it doesn't matter which side you put them on. So uh, what I had done is space it out. And what they suggest is that you put the X rail on top of it for spacing. All right, so the X rail is just sitting on top. Nothing is attached, bolted down. All you're doing is just sitting this on top just to get your spacing from left to right, vice versa. What you're gonna do next, once you have your spacing, let me actually backtrack real quick. Uh, if you watch the uh, One Infinity's video, they're gonna suggest to put this rail flush here um, I did not want it flush there. What I had done is I took a uh, square and I actually went a couple inches back just to avoid running into the screws uh, that I used to mount the uh, tabletop. Uh, real quick, if you're interested in uh, how I built this tabletop, uh, I'll leave a link in the description on that. So, all right, so what they suggest and instruct, I guess, rather, is to go ahead and screw one screw uh, into the uh, uh, the Y rail, and that gives you a pivot point. So we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, so once you have one screw for your pivot point, Again, your X rail is not mounted, it's just sitting there. So what we're gonna do now, we're actually gonna take this X rail off. All right. And next what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna slide the mount all the way to the front on both sides. And same way uh, on this side. Make sure 
both of them are flush up against uh, the rail there. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the X rail on top. And what's nice is everything is labeled. So we have our X rail mounting bolts. And you've got two on the front, two on the back. I'm just gonna drop those in. And don't uh, don't put them all the way down. All right. And these are just gonna get hand tonight for right now. Okay, so with all of your bolts uh, for the X rail, get them nice and snug. Don't torque them down too much. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna push the X rail all the way to the back, and then we're gonna make sure everything's squared up, and then we're gonna go ahead and screw the Y rails uh, down. So all you're gonna do verify that you're all the way up against on both sides which it looks like we are Okay, so we got the back rails screwed down. We're gonna bring this forward. Again, we're gonna make sure everything's flush. And all we're gonna do is put the rest of the uh, screws for the rails in the front. So once you have everything screwed down in the front, we're actually gonna push your rail back just a little bit, about a foot or so, give you some working room. Okay, so we're gonna take our Z rail, we're gonna mount it onto the mounting plate here. And you can see you have different options for your height. We're actually gonna go with the middle option uh, for mounting. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to lower our spindle mount all the way down. And I'm just by turning there on the top. It doesn't take much to turn that. And we're going to take our McKee router. You can use a spindle. as long as it's, uh, I believe it's 65 millimeter. Um, but if you're using a router, they recommend the Makita router. And I'm not going to tighten that spindle uh, mount down just yet. But what I am gonna do real quick here at the top is just connect that stepper motor with the uh, wiring. Next thing we're gonna do on this top plate is we're gonna unscrew these. And 
and we're going to take our router cable and on the back side. So I get that. On the back side, you have a track. That wire is going to go inside that track. And go ahead and lower your spindle all the way down. The reason for that is that it gives you the maximum travel for your cable to give you an idea of how much slack you need. And then once you do that, then all you have to do, go ahead and tighten those back. That won't be too tight. Uh, top piece is plastic. And you can play around with the, the slack on that if you need to readjust that. That shouldn't be too difficult to get that done. So, all right, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and mount the uh, mounting hardware for the screen. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go over is your wiring. So your wiring is going to be labeled, should be, and it's going to have, get a better shot here, see like uh, M3, M0 on that side. your X, and that's actually a Z there. So your M side, will go to your control box, your control panel. The opposite side will go to uh, that rail that you're, you're attaching to. We're gonna come over here. You see right here, on the left side of the machine, you've got your cable coming all the way through. This one's going to be for your Z. So we're going to take and plug in Z. Right below it is going to be for your X. Plug that in. Your next cable, same thing. M1. M2, that's gonna to go to the control panel. Your Y1 and Y2 will go to the machine. Uh, so these are actually two separate cables. You have a shorter and longer one. The longer one, you'll want to plug in to the left side. And guys, they offer a uh, cable extension So you can purchase those. I'll leave a link in the description for right now. We're just going to leave this right here, but later on uh, I'll have a separate video on the cable management and how we're going to uh, make all this look a little bit cleaner. So next we're going to come on over to the back side. And everything's labeled. See, probe, laser, M0, one, two, three, four, and so forth. And we're just gonna match those up. Got your uh, HDMI and USB. That's gonna go to the control panel. Opposite end goes to the screen itself. We're going to come back around here. 
once again, you have your HDMI and your USB. And for right now, I'm just gonna plug these into the screen, but I'm not gonna leave it on the mount. Um, the mount is magnetic. Uh, and it just clips on. I personally am not a fan of that. Probably gonna look at a different option. Um, you do have mounting holes here on the back. Uh, I think I'm gonna design something uh, just a little bit more secure um, than just uh, the magnets. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that. I do like the arm and everything. Um, I can't say it's, you know, the beefiest uh, thing that, you know, you could use. Uh, it could definitely be redone, but I, if that's the, the worst thing, then I think we're good. Okay, so we got everything plugged in. First thing you want to check is your emergency stop. You're going to turn that to the right to disengage. This thing you do. Turn the power on for your screen. Should have a message no signal. Flip the switch on the front. One infinity booting. All right, we're actually going to take this back off. Let's sit here. All right. First thing that comes up, home the machine. We're going to hit OK. it guys we're homed from what I've read this is what your screen is supposed to look like now it will say on the z-axis uh, over until you load a um, uh, design file a cut file um, guys uh, the ones that have it uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that please um, but uh, from what I've read, that, that's normal. All right, guys, this is it. This is the Onefinity CNC machine. This is the woodworking edition. Um, man, this looks like an awesome machine. Heavy, stout, I mean, it is all there. So, uh, you know, total time, you know, recording probably took me about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, if you're not recording, yeah, you could knock this out in about 15 minutes putting it together. Uh, I had the Shapeco, Shapeco machine, uh, the XXL. Uh, that took me all day to put together. <laughs> so uh, for something like this, that is literally a, a plug and play type setup. Uh, you don't have to run any wires. Uh, they're already, you know, set. You just plug in uh, the Z-Rail assembly is already assembled you don't have to do anything there um so i mean really yeah guys you don't have to do a thing other than just plug the wires where they go um the only thing that i can say is that uh again i mentioned the mount for the screen i'm gonna look at doing something different on that uh the other thing you might uh, be wondering about is the wasteboard. Uh, I will have a wasteboard on top of this with some T-Track. Uh, so I do plan on doing that. I'll have a separate video for, for that. 
uh, along with the cable management because uh, yeah I do want to take care of all of this uh, make that look a little bit better let's see what else guys um, but yeah going back to the wasteboard uh, your other machines uh, that are uh, similar to this hobbyist machines will have waste boards don't don't let this uh, you know scare you away from purchasing just because it doesn't have a waste board with it uh, we're gonna have a uh, MDF waste board with the t-track we'll go over how to uh, how to surface it uh, along with the tramming of the router make sure everything's square and ready to go and uh, then we'll start cranking out some projects and, uh, you know, making some more videos. So, guys, uh, if you like this content, please hit that like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to have more videos going over this machine. I'll leave a link in the description uh, for this along with their uh, machinist um, model. So you can go over that. And uh, y'all can take a look at it for yourself. And, uh, yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun with this machine, and we definitely look forward to it. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and, uh, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.